Hi, Mark Laxton here, and I'm about to show you how you can add your social media links and a call to action subscribe button to your videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. So we'll start by opening the project in Premiere Pro and I'll leave some instructions and a link below this video as to where you can find this project. So we'll double click on the project and you'll see that starts opening that, this project up in Premiere Pro. That'll just take a few seconds to load up. Then you'll see we've got this message here so that's just asking where I want to um, save this file so I'm just going to click on OK. And then you'll see this project opens up. Okay, so we've got uh, all these elements and everything all, all loaded up. And this image here, if we just toggle, this is this one here. So if we just toggle that off, you'll see that turns that off. And if we just pull this across, you'll see that's the uh, animation. So you've got quite a few different animations on there for different social media links. Now, if you don't need all of them, then, then you can turn off uh, each one individually. So let's say, for example, if we don't want the Periscope and the Twitch, then we just find that on here so we can see if we just use the scrolling wheel we can see we can see the twitch there and we're just going to um, close that one or hide that one periscope we're going to hide that one as well okay now you've got the subscribe and the like so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide the like one so we're going to turn that off and we're going to grab this subscribe and we want to bring it down here so we can just click on subscribe click on the actual element twice and drag that down so we can put that let's say we'll just put that just there okay and now obviously you want your um, your own links put in here so in this case we're going to click on Facebook and let's go down to Facebook and click on that twice and then you see Facebook link here so we'll click on that and we'll click on that twice okay and you'll see this here so now one little tip is to keep this uh, text the same color don't delete the whole thing I'm just going to click at the end and then I'm just going to delete this and in this case I'm just going to put Mark Laxton's so that's mine so I'm just going to delete that R then at the beginning so now we're keeping the same the same color and if it doesn't quite fit you can see this line here so we're going to mess around with this font size so we can just drag that so let's say that's 95 and once you've got it how you like it you don't have to save anything you can just click on the the x okay so that's there and if we go back to this part here where it says background you can see that's now changed so now we'll do the same for instagram so we're going to click on instagram double click it and double click this one too and then come here and change this one as well then I'm going to remove the R and then just resize it so it's the same so it was 95 okay so all I'm doing there is just keeping my finger down on the button and just uh, dragging this to side to side so again that's that's fitting okay and we can click on the X so now if we go back to the actual project again we can see this here okay and now this is going to be okay for us to use so you can see it's also got um, sound effect to the the button as well but uh, we can see that the these two buttons don't quite open up at the same time and you can see here Facebook and Instagram so what we're going to do is just click and drag that across so now you can see they both open up at the same time subscribe that and then it'll all disappear okay so now obviously we want this to be downloaded so that this is a transparent background so what we can do I'm on a Mac Mac you can go through this and go to export uh, but in on a Mac you can just press command and M and then you'll see this now it's important to keep this as QuickTime so the format is QuickTime and remember to save the file so we just click on that and we'll put social social link uh, social links okay so that's going to save it to the desktop in video format so save and then we also want to keep the audio so we keep we're going to keep make sure that's checked and then if we scroll down a little bit then we can see this uh, video format so we're going to look at the video uh, options here so where it says video codec we'll click on that 
and then we'll, it's important that you click on this animation okay so now you've clicked on animation if we just scroll down we're going to change this so we don't want it to be in ratio we're just going to take that off and that's going to be 1920 let's put a line through that so we don't want it to keep the ratio so 1920 and 1080 okay so that's your normal uh, 16 by 9 video size and if we just scroll down then we'll change the lower first this field order from lower first to progressive okay and just scroll down a little bit more now you'll see because we changed it from um, we changed it to this uh, sorry I don't want to change that we'll just move that you have to be careful as well when you uh, hover over these if you're using a mouse wheel because it will start changing things so because we changed it to animation here then you can see that actually cha changed and added this element here so the 8 uh, BPC plus alpha so we're going to check that and that allows us to trans uh, to download this and export it with a transparent background so we're going to check on that box to render a maximum depth and that's pretty much all you need to do so once you've done that then you can export and you'll see that starts exporting now now another important thing is when this exports then you'll see this file on your desktop as a QuickTime file okay and you don't need to click on it to play it um, because it will convert it into like a video so I'll just show you quickly here I've got the file that I've just downloaded now you can see this is as QuickTime now if I double click that and play it um, that's basically going to be turning it into a, a flat video so it's not going to be a transparent background or anything so I just want to leave it as that and if I'm just going to drag that over to the side and open up the Premiere Pro now what I've just done is put in a little video here so I've got my uh, logo animation there I'm just going to scroll over so I'm just showing you this um, so I can show you how easy it is to put over the top of any video obviously that could be any video now and all you do then is just grab this as a QuickTime file put it over the top and if we just open that up again full size then you can see now that this opens up nicely there and then all you need to do is obviously just click on that play around with it to um, the point where you uh, time it to your video okay and there you have it so you've basically put that on the top of the video with a transparent background and finally, just to finish off, I'm just going to show you, obviously here you've seen the links for Facebook, Instagram, Twitch and Periscope. But when you look in the project files, you'll actually find that if we go to this lower thirds, we'll double click on that. You'll find that um, there are social media links with the white background and you can also have them without the white background. And you'll find them like they're for pretty much any social media uh, platform you can think of. So, you know, Pinterest, Reddit, Cor Cora, Skype, Snapchat. Tumblr, all the most popular ones, um, and some of the other, um, some of the social media platforms that you may have not even heard of yet. Um, but you can find them all in there, and you can also see here you've got design elements, buttons. If we click on that, you can see this one's just for a like button. This one's for a like and subscribe. This one's for a like, subscribe, and a, and a notification or bell icon for notifications. And uh, you can obviously just drag those down onto your timeline. So like I said, I'll put the uh, instructions and the link below the video where you can find this project. But for now, thanks very much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos like this. And remember, again, to hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. So thanks again for listening. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon.